Okay. Um, today I'm going to demonstrate placing uh, OB chains on the legs of a calf in order to assist in delivery of the calf from the cow. Um, this is a uh, OB chain that we use and um, to correctly place the OB chain you have to first create a loop and you can do that by sliding one end of the OB chain through the larger loop in the chain and bringing it down into a small loop that you can easily place over the foot of the calf and into the proper location. So the most important thing about placing the OB chain in these calves is to place it, the first initial loop must be placed right at the mid metacarpal area of this calf. So the first thing you'll do is hang on to the calf's leg once you have it exposed um, out of the vulva lips of the cow and then you'll place the chain over the foot, the claw of the foot and slide the chain off your hand onto the area of the metacarpal area so that that's the proper location and then you will gently um, cinch down on the chain to tighten it against the metacarpal area. If you elect to pull on the chain at this point, that would be very a uh, bad thing to do because if you elect to pull with force on um, this chain only, then there's a lot of pressure applied to this area and you could easily break the, the metacarpal bone of this calf. So in order to avoid that, there's a second loop that must be applied and this loop will actually be applied distal to the fetlock between the pastern and the fetlock. And in order to place that loop um, on that area, you basically will take your hand and lay it flat across the chain that's extended out of the cow. And then you'll just make a simple fold like this of the loop of the chain to create another circle or loop. And then you will actually apply that loop onto um, the calf's leg beyond the foot and then you will pull down and cinch down on that loop to create a nice snug fit against that area just distal to the fetlock of the calf. At this point you can then apply a tremendous amount of pressure on the chain and with that what will happen is that pressure that you're applying to the calf's leg will actually be distributed across both loops and not necessarily directly on the limb of the calf, therefore avoiding any damage to the calf. If you have a very lengthy OB chain, you can actually use one chain to place um, the, chains on, the OB chains on the feet of the calves correctly on both legs. Um, in order to do that, you have to create a, another loop at the other end of the chain and you can do that by actually holding the larger loop and then just allowing the chain to slide down through the larger loop creating a second opening there that you would then apply to the calf's leg. So you would again identify the calf's leg that you would like to apply, pass the chain over the calf's foot, place it right at the metacarpal area and then just gently pull down against the chain until it's nice and snug against the distal metacarpal. Again, making sure not to put a tremendous amount of force on just one chain loop on the leg because that can cause some damage and maybe break the metacarpal bone. So again, we have to apply a second loop and we do that by again placing our hand flat on the extended chain out of the cows. Um, vulva and then making a simple fold that creates a second loop here that you would then apply to the calf's leg just distal to the fetlock and then just slowly slide that down and cinch that down until it's nice and snug and with one long chain you can actually apply the OB chains to both limbs correctly in a way that will avoid injury to the calf and allow for the person delivering the calf to apply the tremendous amount of force to remove the calf during parturition.